Welcome to the 2023 FRQ exam from the AP Statistics Test. In this video, we're going to talk about question number one, going over all the answers and explain them as best as we can. All right, let's dive right into it. Here was the question. As part of a study on the chemistry of Alaskan streams, researchers took water samples from many streams with temperatures colder than 8 degrees Celsius and from many streams with temperatures warmer than 8 degrees Celsius. For each sample, the researchers measured the dissolved oxygen concentration in milligrams per liter. This is a histogram of the streams that were colder than 8 degrees. The researchers constructed the histogram shown for the dissolved oxygen concentration in streams from the sample of water temperatures colder than 8 degrees. Based on the histogram, describe the distribution of dissolved oxygen co concentrations in streams with water temperatures colder than 8 degrees. So before I show you my answer here, if I quickly look at this, I want to think about shape outliers, spread, and center. So first, I'm thinking about shape, clearly skewed to the left. Majority of data is on the right, less on the left. Center, here I'm thinking about the median. If you add up all of those values, there are 429 total streams looked at. Plus one divided by two is 215. And the 215th stream falls somewhere between 11 and 12. So I don't know exactly what the median is, but it's definitely going to be somewhere between 11 and 12. Even if you don't actually calculate that location, it's kind of pretty obvious where the center is. We could also talk about outliers. It looks like there could po possibly, again, not for sure without looking at more data, but possibly that one stream with two to three milligrams per liters would be an outlier. Maybe even the ones from four to five or five to six as well, possibly. And then finally, the spread, pretty wide going all the way from as low as 2 to as high as 14. But again, the majority of the data, because we're skewed left, the majority of the data is really from 10 to 13. So it looks like there's a pretty big spread, but overall, there's actually not. All right, here's my write-up of that. Now, make sure when you write this, you talk in context. Use units and just start off by just, you know, it's like a, like a good intro. Here we go. The distribution of dissolved oxygen concentration in these streams with water temperatures colder than 8 degrees Celsius is skewed to the left. So many kids will just start off with, it is skewed to the left, right? That's not how you would start a formal English paper, right? Or a term paper, a research paper. You'd start off by addressing the topic of what's going on in the problem. And that is dissolved oxygen concentration in streams with temperatures colder than 8 degrees Celsius. Now, the typical co oxygen concentration is somewhere between 11 and 12 milligrams per liter, which is where the median value falls. The data ranges from approximately 2 to 14 milligrams per liter, but the large majority of streams are somewhere between 10 and 13 milligrams per liter. Now, there could be a few outliers with three rivers having oxygen concentrations levels below 6, but again, can't verify that, but they do look to be on the low side. Again, kept it short and simple, and I talked about the four items that I need to. All right, part B, the researchers computed the summary statistics showed in the table for the dissolved oxygen concentrations in streams from the sample with water temperatures warmer than 8 degrees. Use the summary statistics to construct a box plot for the dissolved oxygen concentration in streams with water temperatures warmer than 8 degrees. Do not indicate outliers. I thought that was actually really strange for the AP exam to do that because usually they're all about making sure you know how to find outliers. But hey, less work for you. So all we're going to do is we're going to need a line at the median of 5.43. So I'm going to put that line somewhere just below 5.5. doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to put a line at Q1, 4.39, somewhere right around here. Again, you know, no one's going to get out a magnifying glass and say that's a little too low or too high, but as long as it's in the right vicinity. Q3 is 6.12. That's going to go right around here somewhere. And then I'm going to create that box. And then now, sorry, I'm not very good drawing straight lines with this program I'm using, but you get the point. And then it didn't talk about outliers. So that means that the whisker is going to go all the way down to the min at 2.1, somewhere right around here. And then the max is going to go all the way up to, um, or the top whisker is going to go all the way up to the max of 13.45, somewhere right around there. Now, wow, that's a terribly bad straight line. I apologize. All right, so there it is. That's all they asked me to do. I mean, that was pretty easy. But just looking at that, it's going to be a little bit skewed to the right. The right-hand side is more spread out. And again, 50% of these rivers didn't really tell us how many rivers they looked at that were warmer than 8 degrees. But 50% of them are somewhere in that range of 4.39 to 6.12. So definitely on the lower side. All right, in part C here, the researchers believe the streams with higher dissolved oxygen concentration are generally healthier for wildlife. I'll say that one more time. Streams with higher dissolved oxygen concentration are healthier for wildlife. 
So which streams are generally healthier for wildlife? Those with temperatures colder than 8 degrees or those with temperatures warmer than 8 degrees? Use the characteristics of the distribution of dissolved oxygen concentration for temperatures colder than 8 degrees and the characteristics of the distribution of dissolved oxygen concentration for warmer than 8 degrees to justify your answer. So just before I even started, I went back and I, I thought, okay, clearly looking at the streams colder, that was the histogram, they were on the higher side. Well, that's literally what it says. Higher dissolved oxygen concentration is healthier for wildlife. We just made a box plot where the median was on the low side, around 5.43. So that's clearly on the left, you know, lower on the warmer streams. So clearly the answer here is that the colder streams are going to typically have higher oxygen concentrations, which makes them healthier. So I let off with that, right? Like give a good paragraph here with a nice intro answering the question. Based on the data from streams of both water temperatures, it appears that streams that are colder than eight degrees are generally healthier for wildlife. The meat, now here, here comes my why, right? Because it did say use the characteristics. I went ahead and used the median, the center, and I also used the shape. The median value for the sample streams that are colder than 8 degrees was around 11 to 12 milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen, while the median for the sample of streams warmer than 8 degrees Celsius was a median of 5.43 dissolved oxygen. So clearly the colder streams have a higher center. In fact, much higher. Now I also used the fact that they're the shape. So I said the graph of the colder streams was also skewed to the left. Now what that means is that the majority of streams are on the high side um, somewhere over 10 milligrams per liter, and roughly 80% of streams. I actually went back to the histogram and I actually looked at, you know, where the majority of data is and the large majority actually counted. This represents 80% of, roughly 80% of all streams. So again, 80% of the streams in our sample were above 10. Again, that's pretty high if we're looking to support healthy wildlife. Then I also commented that the shape of the warmer streams was again skewed to the right. Now here we actually see that 75% are under 6 milligrams per liter. Where did I get that from? Well, I went back to Q3, right? Q3 is the 75th percentile. 75% of streams are below 6. So just kind of thinking here, if you think about the fact that for the colder streams, 80% are above 10, that's a lot. For the warmer streams, 75% are below 6. So if we're looking to have that higher concentration, we're definitely wanting to get into those colder temperature waters. So in conclusion, the colder streams will support wildlife better due to more oxygen concentration overall. All right, pretty easy problem. Hopefully you nailed that one. Uh, the biggest thing that we look for when we're grading this is speaking in context and using units, not just giving blanket generic statements. The center is this, the spread is that, and having no context to it. So again, hopefully you ace this question and we'll see you later. Pay attention for more answers to the 2023 exam.